Day 39 on the Daily Psalm series here, so welcome into the video. Let's get into the Bible reading session. It's going to be Psalm 39, of course. To the chief musician, to Jeduthun, a psalm of David. I said, I will guard my ways, lest I sin with my tongue. I will restrain my mouth with a muzzle, while the wicked are before me. I was mute with silence, I held my peace even from good, and my sorrow was stirred up. My heart was hot within me, while I was musing, the fire burned. Then I spoke with my tongue, Lord, make me to know my end, and what is the measure of my days, that I may know how frail I am. Indeed, you have made my days as hand breaths. And my age is nothing before you. Certainly every man at his best state is but vapor. Sila. Surely every man walks about like a shadow. Surely they busy themselves in vain. He heaps up riches and does not know who will gather them. And now, Lord, what do I wait for? My hope is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the reproach of the foolish. I was mute. I did not open my mouth, because it was you who did it. Remove your plague from me. I am consumed by the blow of your hand. When with rebukes you correct man for iniquity, you make his beauty melt away like a moth. Surely every man is vapor. Selah. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Do not be silent at my tears, for I am a stranger with you, a sojourner as all my fathers were. Remove your gaze from me, that I may regain strength before I go away and am no more. And that's Psalm 39 right there, guys. And we can see here that David knows a lot more than a lot of people at that time, of course, because... He was close with the Lord. He knew that his days are short. In verse 5 it says, Certainly every man at his best state is but vapor. You know, and I'm still quite young. I'm 25 years old. You might also be my age or even if you beyond 50. Our lives are short. And so let our lives be lived completely for God, not for ourselves. So I think what we can really take from today's psalm is to know that our days are numbered. We are only going to live on this earth for so long, and this is not eternity. On earth, we don't settle permanently as residents because our residence should be in heaven. As the Bible says, we are citizens of heaven and we are seated in heavenly places. Heaven is our home. Heaven is where God wants us to be for eternity. So let's live our lives on earth for God, for His glory. And stay away from chasing pointless things such as riches. Yes, we all have purpose on this earth. We all have an assignment as well. And it's so important to use what God has given you to bless Him for His glory and to fulfill what God has called you to do. And the only way you can do that is through the power of Christ and the Holy Spirit in you. So keep your eyes on Christ. Keep being guided by the Holy Spirit. Rely on Him every day. And He will show you what to do. He'll give you the strength to walk the rest of your days and run the race that is set before you and endure to the end so that you will be saved. All right, guys, let's pray before we end this video today. Heavenly Father God, we come before you now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father, for this time on earth that we do get to have. I just pray that we would see the value in seeking your face. We would see the value in pursuing righteousness, that we would walk and run the race that is set before us, Father, in faith. As your word says, Lord, the just shall live by faith. So give us strength, Holy Spirit. Fill us with wisdom and guidance as well as we live out our lives for your glory. I pray for a touch on this person's life today who's watching, Father. Everyone who's watching, I pray a blessing over their lives as well, Lord. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, I'll see you again tomorrow for Psalm 40. So be sure to join for that. God bless and peace.